Good morning everyone. Welcome back to Shimori Private Game Reserve as we're doing another another session out in the bush on this Shimori lockdown. One of the amazing things that we have the ability to do on a daily basis is to go out and have a look at tracks and signs left behind by animals. You might not always get the chance to see an animal but you can always see the tracks and signs that are left behind by the animal. We don't always need to see the big tracks and signs left by animals to find stuff interesting. Have a look at this over here. All of these little marks over here are the little footprints of a little mouse, a little murid as he came hopping through here last night. And typical what we find of nocturnal rodents is they have more of a scattered about random pattern, more of a walk and more of a hop pattern as they're foraging trying to be really quiet at night time. Whereas something like a diurnal mouse that is worried about raptors above would have to run from cover to cover and runs in a very straight line. So this we would be able to tell this little guy was hopping around here last night. If we look at this little snake-like drag over there, comes around to over here, up over there. It's not actually a, a snake. If we look a little bit more closely, what we're seeing is a rather relaxed vervet monkey. There's the vervet monkey's little foot over there. And you can see he's got his one, two, three, four toes with that little opposable thumb over there, which would make this a very relaxed vervet monkey because his tail's dragging on the ground. All right, guys, here's an interesting one. This track over here is from a hippo. Here's the back of the foot. There's the toe, 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 and toe. So we've got four toes in this big animal. And there's a comparison to the size of my hand. There it is again. You can see those nice clear four toes with the split at the front. A lot of people get confused between a rhino track and a hippo track. You know, rhino tracks are closed at the front. They've only got three toes. And on white rhino anyway, the angle of that toe is very, very different. So one of the most common questions we get asked is, how do you know how old a track is? It's a very difficult thing to tell. But if we use other supporting evidence, as in what we can see by this rhino track here. Yeah, we can see nice clear rhino tracks. But there's other information here as well. If we have a look in the middle of this rhino track, there's a back and a front foot of a little black back jackal. There's the back of the pad. There's one, two, three, four toes and the nail marks at the front as he's heading down the road. He stepped over the rhino track. What we also have over here is a little millipede track. There goes the little millipede over there and out. Both of those animals are active at night time so we could quite comfortably say that this rhino track was made sometime last night uh, and then the other animals and creatures walked over it. So one of the ways that we tell direction off of an elephant's track for example if we look over here we can see there's a front foot that's nice and round there's a back foot that is more oblong there's a divot kicked out at the front over there and obviously there's a back footprint that is standing on top of the front footprint as the animal is moving that direction over there and you can see all these nice clear lines the mosaics the the fingerprint of the animal are nice and sharp so this is very fresh we've also got a very nice clear crescent moon at the back over here um, and even uh, you know the fresher it is the brighter and clearer that little crescent moon is well there you have it guys i hope you enjoyed that little uh, little bit that we did on tracking following animal tracks reading different signs gathering information uh, following the tracks and eventually finding what you were looking for uh, stay tuned hit the like button and uh, we'll see you again shortly